Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Clueless Drinker. Got another winter beer today, and this time it's the first beer from this brewery that I've ever drank. And it's a brewery that I've seen a few times, but only in like a specific branch of like beer shops here in the city. I'm not too sure if they've got exclusive rights to sell this, or if for some reason they're the ones, only ones who rarely stock it on a regular basis. But I was in um one of the chains or one of the branches um a shop that i don't never actually been to before um so i went in there had a look around they had a semi-decent selection uh it just wasn't really like grouped properly because there was like breweries I, yeah, it wasn't really necessarily sorted by brewery or beer style i don't know it was a bit chaotic in the shop that doesn't really matter it's from the rule brow or rule brow I'm completely butchering that. This is the Winter Gold, which is coming in at 5.6%. And uh, yeah, Hulbrau is from Straubing. Nicely designed label, but doesn't really speak winter to me. It's nice and subtle, I suppose. Got a nice golden label. Uh, got some nice typography, although it does kind of look like it's being put together on like Microsoft Word or something like that. But I do really, really enjoy this brewery's logo. And on the back, pretty much the same thing. Got a nice label on the neck. And of course, a fantastic looking crown, which will be going into the collection. I'm really, really enjoying these winter beers so far. Um, I don't think I've actually had one. That was like really, really bad. I've had some that were not as nice as others. I've had a few surprises as well. Um, but yeah, they've been really good standard lagers, essentially. I'm making it my little quest to seek out as many as I can over these next few months. Because I know they stocked them like a month or so into month or so into January. A few weeks into January. Let's get this beer opened not too much going on in terms of smoke it's definitely got the gold aspect right and yeah it's like a golden strawy color uh, not too deep but not too light um, it doesn't look like a watered down piss which is usually the thing and it's got really nice carbonation action in there beer poured with one finger's worth of white fluffy head and uh yeah doesn't look really wintry so far, doesn't look too malty. Looks nice though. So um, yeah, let's see what it smells like. Yeah, you're just getting like a, a basic lager smell, to be honest. Almost like that when fruit begins to ferment and break down. Not when it goes off, not that, but when, yeah, you start, like when bananas ripen and when, you know how fruit goes. It's got that sweetness to it. I'm getting like a sugary honey note in there as well. And I am getting a few hops in the sniff as well. Um, I don't know, I'd like them to actually label on these beers what sort of hops they use. And I like that when breweries do that in general. Even if it's just the basic cocktail of hops, I like to be informed what's in there. But yeah, doesn't smell too Christmassy, doesn't look too Christmassy. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. It's got like a, a bitterness right up front. But it's not too harsh. And it's not subtle. But that's the main flavour that you're getting. And there's almost like a... Going back to the fruity sniffs that I got in there. Like that ripened fruit. Or fermented fruit. I am getting like a, a very subtle fruity sourness. It's very citrusy. Um, it's like when you've got the lemon juice in the squeezy bottles that I usually put on schnitzel or stuff like that. It's got that like tanginess to it. It's not an amber lager or a Mertzen or anything like that like some of the other winter beers that I've had. And to be honest, as solid and as nice as it is, it just tastes, smells and looks like a Hellas beer or a lager. Uh, there's nothing too unique. There's nothing too special about this. Um, of course, I'll have to go back 
at some point to check out the regular Heller's beers and those sorts of styles that they do so I can have a bit of a reference note. Uh, maybe do a comparison video. Um, I still need to do some comparison videos on the channel. But um, yeah, it's it's actually really quite summery, quite zesty. It's crisp, it's refreshing. It's what you look for in a high quality lager. And uh, yeah, I just don't know what's so wintry or seasonal about it, to be honest. Um, it could be just uh, Hellas Beer relabeled, even though they had the Hellas stuff in the same shop. Uh, they had a really big range, this brewery, of all sorts of variations on different styles. But yeah, I was drawn to this one because I'm really enjoying the winter beers so far. Um, I am a big advocate for good lagers. I know lagers get kind of a bad rap, even if they're like a German Heller's beer or stuff like Pilsner's as well. I know there's a, there's a lot of people who just really hate on the style. Uh, for hate's sake and um, yeah it's never going to win anyone like that over but if you want a good solid crisp refreshing lager I mean I'm drinking this it's pretty much straight out of the fridge uh, it's not too chilled it's not been in there like overnight or anything it's only been in there for a few hours so it's not ice cold or anything like that it's not the most vibrant of lagers it's not the most tasteful in general, um, but it's a really solid, above the board, lager. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give it probably uh, a 7 out of 10. Um, if it was a little bit more wintry than, like it says on the label itself, then I could have probably given it an 8, um, but because it's not wintry at all or seasonal to me, uh, then it, it gets a point because if you're going to advertise a beer as something have something within that beer aside from a label I mean the label isn't really wintry at all at least have something wintry about your beer it's not warming it's more of a summer beer but it's a solid one at that so it's a 7 out of 10 from me if you want to find out more about the uh, <laughs> Uh, brewery out of Straubing then I will be putting their links down below as well as uh, information about this beer and of course if there are any other beer reviews here on YouTube of this one then they will be in the description box down below so check out all the other winter beers that I've done up to this point check out the Coolers Dragon playlist for more beer reviews and I shall see you in the next one cheers guys